Look at me making a video that was cool like three years ago. Was it ever cool? What up the amazing person currently watching this? It's Basepick aka M. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing the 50 facts about me tag. And there's actually two reasons why I wanted to post this video. Number one, am I now going to get 50 videos out of this? Oh yeah, but the second one is that I feel like when I post videos, you may not know that much about me. You may want to, why I don't know. But still, here we go, 50 facts about me. Number one, I've had two operations on my legs. Number two, I've owned five pets. Number three, my favorite YouTubers are the uh, reviewing type YouTubers. So, you know, uh, Nostalgia Critic, Fanboy Flix, uh, Found Flix, ATZ Show, Cinema Sin, Screen Junkies, Ralph the Movie Maker, I Hate Everything. <laughs> Your movie sucks. Um, and others that I can't think of. And the other type of YouTubers I like is kind of like the call out YouTubers. So Marcus Dibble, Wild Sprants, I'm Alex, Elvis the Alien, Bionic Pig, um, and uh, what's the what's the other one? I watched another one. What what is it? Tim Hatton. That's it. Um, and recently PewDiePie. He's starting to call out people, and it's freaking hilarious. Number four. Movies. As you know, I'm obsessed with movies, but particularly I really love horror, thriller, action, comedy, sci-fi, and Disney. That's right, horror and Disney clearly go together. I can go from Hostel to Akuna Matata real quick. Number five, music. I am a huge fan of rock, punk, metal, Queen, and the Beatles, because Queen and the Beatles go under a genre of just epicness. But I also like pop, EDM, musicals, all that kind of stuff. Number six, that segue, though. I also love musicals. I have been in approximately five musicals and two pantomimes, and I'm really looking forward to this year to doing a lot more of them. Number seven, TV series. I absolutely love Scream, American Horror Story, Riverdale, uh, Total Drama, Island Action, World Tour, Stoked, 16, Faulty Towers, um, slasher. Number eight, Back to the Future. Okay, I love Back to the Future, like with my whole heart, but it's actually a problem because Screen Junkies and CinemaSins did videos on them and I still haven't watched it yet because I refuse to believe there's anything wrong with that trilogy. It's perfect. Please don't comment below telling me what's wrong with it. Please, I beg you, don't. Number nine, my laugh. I have got the weirdest laugh you will more than likely ever hear. Number 10, I would really love to meet Johnny Depp, Katy Perry, Weird Al Yankovic, Jack Black, Jim Carrey, <coughs> that Orianthe, um, ACDC members, although I have met one of them, so there's that. And all like the YouTubers that I've listed because they're freaking hilarious. Number 11, as of 2017, I am officially a high school graduate. Oh yeah, my fan's on, I probably shouldn't do that. Number 12, contrary to popular belief, I'm actually 18. Uh, a lot of people think I'm older for some reason, but I'm actually 18. Number 13, I suffer from vertigo, which, there's a bird, which can be a real issue sometimes. So basically, if you don't know what vertigo is, it's this liquid in your ear that keeps you level. And the liquid in my ear has caused like little crystals. So if those crystals ever get loose, or if I have to do a lot of spins, um, yeah, let's just say, that water will be spinning for a while, i.e. the room will be spinning for a while and I'll have to sit down and just pray I don't throw up. Granted, I don't have it as bad as some other people and I'm very grateful for that, but at the same time, it's very inconvenient. A lot like someone who's deciding now would be a good time to mow the lawn. And a bird. Thank you. I'm actually gonna close my window because I'm gonna get some weird looks if they go past you. I almost fell, not gonna lie. Number 14, I am currently single, if you were wondering. You probably weren't, but I am. Number 15, instruments. I can play guitar and bass and I would love to learn drums and how to sing. Number 16, I have completed three levels of AMEB and AMEB stands for the Australian Music Examination Board. Number 17, it should be pretty obvious, but my future husband is Johnny Depp. Number 18, I'm not even lesbian or bi, but I have got the biggest girl crush 
on Katy Perry. She is just so damn fine. I freaking love her. Number 19. My favorite superheroes are Catwoman, Katana, Hulk, and Spider-Man. Number 20. My favorite food dash drink is hot pretzels and berries and slushies and water. Very weird mix, very boring mix, but I don't care. Number 21. The opposite of that, I don't really like sachets, I don't like stir fries, I don't like Thai food, I don't really like Asian type food, and even though I'm 18, I don't really like many alcohols. Like, I don't like beer or wine or spirits, all that stuff can just go away. Like, I don't know why people like it. Number 22. I am six foot in height. I don't know what that is in centimeters. So you're gonna have to convert that, but I'm six foot in height. Number 23, fears. I have got the fear of sharks, the dark, I'm claustrophobic. I... I've got so many, I forgot one of them. Oh, I've got the fear of sharks, heights, I'm claustrophobic, fear of the dark, and isolation. Number 24, I am a natural blonde. Uh, number 25, my eyes are actually turquoise. With apparently golden flex, that's what I've been told, so just go off that. Number 26, you might be curious, in high school, like in year 11 and 12, I did uh, advanced English, music, drama, vet entertainment, modern history, and legal studies. Number 27, my favorite colors are purple, turquoise, and black. And don't be telling me black's not a color, I will keep calling it a color, I don't care if it's a shade, it's a color. T-shirt quote, even though it is the Terminator, just pretend that's not there, t-shirt quote. Number 28, I'm 18, still can't drive. Number 29, kind of along with that, the cars I really want to drive is the DeLorean from Back to the Future and the Batmobile. But unfortunately, they're not drivable yet, so. Number 30, my favorite quote is actually this one right here on my wall. Is it that one? Yes, it is that one. And it says, never regret anything because at the time it's exactly what you wanted. Number 31, I know useless facts that no one should care about. Number 32, unless it's for a particular reason, you will not see me wear an entire face of makeup. Number 33, kind of like before when I said about my hair, I don't do anything with it. I own a straightener, I barely use it, I own all these products, barely use them. It's either tied up or down, there's no in between. Number 34, okay, so you know how people get obsessed with things? I get obsessed with movies and doing character analysis. Like, stuff that no one should really be obsessed with, but I am. And I take that obsession to a whole new level, to the point where I made a YouTube channel about it. <sniffs> Subscribe to my reviewing channel. Yes, that will be plugged in each of my videos. Don't judge me. Number 35, my dream job is ultimately be happy and to hopefully make you happy. Number 36, believe it or not, up until about two months ago, I didn't know the whole song of Bohemian Rhapsody. But, 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 before you leave a hate comment or dislike this video, I want to point out, I only heard parts of the song. So like, I heard like the really rock part, and then the I saw a little swallow, just a little one. <laughs> I saw a little silhouette of a man, skeleton, blah, 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 blah. I only knew that part. I didn't know there were all these other parts to this song until someone played it to me, and I'm like, oh, that's where it comes from. Now I know why I was getting such bad looks when I said I didn't know it. Number 37. Okay, I'm the type of person who, if something's incredibly popular, I won't really pay attention or even be interested in it until, like, two, three, four months or even years after when it's been released and the whole hype has gone. For example, back to my reviewing channel, I recently, and by recently, we're talking like November, posted my thoughts on 13 Reasons Why in November. That show was earlier this last year. So that's what we're talking about here. Number 38, songs. Okay, I've got a list of songs that if I'm singing them, you are not allowed to sing them purely because you probably got a better voice than me and I don't need my self-esteem dropping. Number 39, swearing. I don't swear in my videos, but I do actually swear in real life. Number 40, AIM courses. So if you don't know what AIM is, it stands for the Australian Institute of Music and I've done about three or four courses there. Number 41, my spine. Okay, you know how most people's spine is straight? Mine's not. Mine's got like this kind of curve thing in it. And also, you know how there's a socket where your neck is to your spine, it's kind of like a socket so you can move your head? Yeah, that bone that's there, yeah, mine is like, is like it's huge, like, it is enormous. So that's why if you ever seen my videos, I'm kind of like really standing up tall and kind of like that. That's not to show confidence or anything, oh no, no. That's so this freaking bump can get smaller. Don't know why it's like that, 
I don't even think the chiropractor knows why it's like that, but he said the only way to lessen it is to like look like this like 90% of the time. Very natural as you can tell. Number 42, a lot like my Welcome to Octopus's Garden video, that song has helped me so much through really any parts of my life and I just love that song with all my heart and if you want to know more about that song, refer back to my Welcome to Octopus's Garden video. Number 43, my name base pick on, here on YouTube, I actually got that from my dad's eBay account name. Number 44, I'm incapable of lying. Number 45, okay, as a kid I realised that I used to love certain bands and certain songs but I didn't know that they were the same people if that makes sense. That made things very awkward when I was older and I was like, oh my god that was this song by this person? Number 46, before I go on stage or record a video or do anything like that, I always say for those about to rock, I salute you because I feel like it gives me confidence and I feel like the rock gods are like looking down on me and telling me you're going to be fine in this situation, things are going to work out and it's just something that gets me really hyped. Number 47, social media. Contrary to popular belief, I'm actually not a, like addicted to social media. A lot of people would disagree with that. but. I really only check like Snapchat, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. If I get a notification, I don't really spend my time just on that. What I do spend my time on there, however, is YouTube. Purely because I'm watching these people, getting ideas, getting ways to like film my videos, how to edit, all that kind of stuff. So even when I watch YouTube videos, I'm still kind of working at the same time. It's so hard. <laughs> Number 48, being 100% honest, I've got a huge butt, don't know how to twerk. Wish I did. When I actually did it, it looked like I was having a spaz attack. When I go on there again. Number 49, we are almost there, but number 49 is I would love to get six tattoos and two piercings. If you're interested in what they are, I may or may not make a video of it. Just kidding, I will. Number 50, similar to Octopus's Garden, I started to make YouTube videos in hopes to make you happy and in hopes to just bring some positivity and to talk about issues that are kind of taboo that shouldn't be taboo. That's why I've got a lot of videos on like sexualities and all that kind of stuff and mental illnesses just because I think if topics are supposedly taboo that they shouldn't be if you talk about them they're not going to be taboo anymore and that's kind of the goal I feel like so that is 50 facts about me um you probably learned way more about me than you cared but still this is the song I'm currently obsessed with. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment something positive, and there should be a subscribe button that side. Please press it because I would love to if you were part of the musical family and Octopus's Garden. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. M out, peace, love, rock on, bye. Welcome to Octopus's Garden. You don't believe me, take me by the hand. Can't you feel you warming up? Yeah, I'm your weather man. They're still mowing the lawn, though. <laughs>